Peace be with you. Let us all be inspired by a Bible verse today and learn from its reflection. Please share to your friends and loved ones so that they too will receive the word of the Lord. Thank you and may God bless us all. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 to 26. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. Husbands, what does God tell us to do? God tells us to love our wife. This is not a suggestion, but a command from God. But you may object by saying, I cannot always be in love with my wife. If you raise that objection, you are correct that you cannot be in love with your wife at all times. The reason is that emotions are difficult to control because they are heavily influenced by what is happening at a given moment. This is why the Bible does not tell you to be in love with your wife at all times, but to love your wife at all times. Being in love is emotional and not always something you have control over. Being in love is a passive experience in which you are drawn into. In this verse, love is not passive, but active. The command to love is a verb. When God tells husbands to love their wives, he is speaking of the action of being committed to your wife. Your love is not based on what is happening but persists regardless of what is happening. In fact, your love is demonstrated in the fact that it is not tied to present circumstances but in a prior commitment. Husbands are called to love their wives and this love is demonstrated through sacrifice. In verse 25, the model for the husband's love for his wife is Christ's love for the church. Verse 25 says husbands are to love their wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Did you see how Christ's love for the church was demonstrated? It says that he gave himself up for her. We know from the Bible that Jesus came not to be served but to serve. Matthew chapter 20 verse 28. Jesus did not call 12 disciples in order to have them serve him, but so that he may show them love through sacrifice. Just as Jesus sacrificed for the well-being of the church, the husband is called to sacrifice for the well-being of his wife. Husbands, our model is Christ and we are called to have Christ-like love for our wives. This means that our thoughts about her should be similar to Christ's thoughts, our words spoken to her should be similar to Christ's words, and our actions should testify to the love Christ has for her. Husbands are called to sacrifice for the good of his wife and this sacrifice entails himself and his resources. Remember, Jesus gave everything including his own life for the church. Now, husbands are called to love their wives. This love is demonstrated through sacrifice and this sacrifice is done for the purpose of redemption. While the husband cannot redeem or save his wife, only Jesus can accomplish that. He can commit himself to encourage his wife's holiness. Husband, do you encourage your wife to pray? Do you encourage your wife to read her Bible? Do you encourage your wife to be connected to a local church? There are many husbands who will sacrifice themselves so that their wife may have temporary pleasures, but how many husbands sacrifice themselves so that their wife may have a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ? Husbands are called to sacrifice themselves for the eternal well-being of their wives. Jesus sacrificed himself so that he may sanctify the church and the husband's primary responsibility is to encourage his wife's spiritual maturity. Please help spread the word of the Lord by sharing this video. Again, thank you and may God bless us all always.